Hello, in this video, we're gonna talk about some installation information for uh, Taylor 794, single phase air cooled soft serve machine. Um, we're gonna go over the uh, electrical uh, information, the plugs and, and, and the outlets that you're going to need on it as well talk about um, some considerations for uh, space around the machine when it comes to airflow. So we'll go, go ahead and get right in and talk about the electrical information here. We're looking at the left side data label, and you can see here the total amp draw is 24 amps. Now there's no such thing as a 24 amp plug, so what we're going to um, recommend you put on it is a 30 amp plug. Now this is the L630, it's a little worn off there, but you can see that, it's L630, and also number used by um, at least one manufacturer for sure, um, that manufacturer being Hubble, is that 2621 that you can see there. Um, so Hubble do doesn't actually use the, the NEMA code um, labeling on there, that L630, they just use that 2621 number. Um, so this is the L630P, this corresponding receptacle or outlet is gonna be the L630R. P standing for plug, R standing for receptacle. And then if you go by um, by just that number code, if you get the Hubble plugs, that's gonna be the 2620 would be the, the corresponding wall outlet or receptacle. So it's a locking plug, looks like this. So when you plug it in, you can just plug it and then kind of twist it like that to lock it in place. It's the best type of plug that we recommend um, for using on these machines. So. We're gonna go over to the other side here and and show you something really quick on that. And that is that um, we've got uh, 20 amps on that side. Now, technically you could put a 20 amp plug and receptacle on the right side of the machine and you wouldn't be wrong to do that. But for uniformity, we're going to suggest that you just stick with uh, the L630 on the right side of the machine as well. Um, so, now what we'll do is uh, go into the uh, space considerations when it uh, comes to airflow around the machine. Now the machine essentially, the best way to kind of describe it is it needs to breathe. Um, so it's taking air in and it's putting air out. So air is flowing in through the side panel here and out through the bottom. There's, a, there's an airflow chute that, that directs the hot air away, out and away from the machine. You can see on the left side, you've got one of those louvered panels as well. And even though you don't have, well, yeah, you do have some vents back here. Um, there's not a lot of airflow that goes around back, back here, but we still want to have minimum six inches on all three sides. So left, right, and rear, six inches of clearance uh, for the machine. If you have less than that, the machine is going to work harder it's going to take your product longer to freeze and you're going to prematurely wear out components, uh, especially those components being your, your compressors, which are basically the heart of the machine. Once the compressors go, um, it, you know, it's, it's a very expensive replacement. Um, so always very important to, uh, to keep in, uh, in mind that, that airflow. Also, um, Underneath here, there are um, your condensers underneath these uh, these louvered panels here. Uh, I can actually show you right here on this machine over here. This is what a condenser looks like. These can get full of dust. So every once in a while, you'll probably want to uh, have a, a refrigeration company come out and clean those coils for you. I recommend having it done professionally. Not saying you can't do it yourself, but um, it's something that shouldn't cost you a whole lot, just uh, as far as some basic maintenance goes. Um, you can, to some extent, vacuum them out, but you know it involves taking the panel off your machine and, and putting it back on, and, and uh, you know honestly, the cost of just having a professional do it might be wor worthwhile to you. But you you can attempt to uh, clean them. They also have a, a chemical cleaner that they can spray in there to really get all that dirt and gunk out and, and clean it properly. Um, and that is a very caustic um, cleaner that can, can give you chemical burns and 
um, it's something that you don't want to be handling unless you uh, really, you know, are careful with it. So in, uh, in my opinion, probably better to have a professional handle that for you. But it's really like that's, that's what you need to consider. Six inches on all left, right, and rear as far as clearance and uh, keep those condenser coils clean and that'll keep your machine uh, running well for quite a while. So if you have any other questions about uh, ice cream machines, frozen dessert machines, uh, we're definitely the, the experts in, in all of that and you can find us at www.slicesconcession.com. Thanks and have a great day.